I'm Kyle. And I'm Lisa. Kyle and I met through his dad in 2007. We dated long distance for about a year, and then July 5th, 2008, we got married. So we've been married a little bit over seven years. So when we got married, we decided against chemical forms of birth control, and we decided just to leave that part of our lives up to God. After about three years, we were not getting pregnant, and we just decided, you know, there's probably an issue going on, so let's go see a doctor. We did some research and visited some doctors, and we found, after seeing a doctor and doing some extensive testing for a couple of months, he found that there was indeed a problem, and told us that the odds of us conceiving naturally were next to nothing. Hearing that, you know, is just kind of unbelievable. You think that it's not going to happen to you and kind of hard to believe. So he gave us some options. We decided to pursue one of them and we moved forward. So we went and got the treatments and one of the treatments I got was right before church on a Sunday morning. And I remember sitting in church thinking, I could be pregnant right now. This is amazing. So we waited until the time came and took a pregnancy test and it was negative. We were very sad about it and still hopeful at that point that the next time that we tried, it would be positive. But it was really hard to see that it was negative. And I think for me, I was still in that place of quasi-denial, still like, it'll happen at some point. So we did it another time, and this time we're like, this is gonna work, like, this has been four years, we've been so patient, and it's God's timing, and this is, you know, this is gonna work. So we pursued again and did the testing and took the pregnancy test and it was negative again. And that's, I think, when it started to set in some of the sadness that it, it may never happen for us. Um, and I, I think for me, you know, you move from shock to denial, denial to, you know, anger, anger to acceptance at some point and I don't know that I was accepting it there but I, I started to understand that it may never happen for us. And I think just knowing going back to we trusted God with the timing of his plans for our family and we had to is do I trust him and is God good even when we don't have kids or is God only good when he answers our prayers. And I think it was around that time that we decided to get an international student from Fairmont Private School right down the street. And so we have our Chinese exchange student daughter, Sophia, who has lived with us for over four years now. And she is wonderful. And so we kind of just thought that that was uh, God's direction for us, for kids. And I think we both got to a place where we were okay with that. Um, within like two weeks, Sophia started calling us mom and dad. And it was like amazing, like we didn't ask for that and she just sort of started to naturally respond that way and look to us as parents. And so um, I think it didn't fill a void, but it gave us a blessing to invest in and, and that was really cool. And so I think we just accepted that as God's plan for our life, not knowing if we would have kids in the future, but just having our hearts open to whatever God had for us. And in the meantime, we had uh, four other uh, Chinese foreign exchange students live with us during the summertime and so we just really felt like this is how God has us to make an impact and a difference. Yeah and so the question remained you know is this ever gonna work and we had a health insurance thing switch over and had an option to, to try again um, and so we decided to go with this new doctor um, and go ahead and, and give it another go. So this is about three years after we had originally started trying and we decided to, to try and as we were going through it, I was getting very sick and very ill and it came to a point where the doctor said, I'm so sorry, we're going to have to stop uh, because of your health. And I think that's when it really hit me, like this may never happen and going to that doctor's appointment, I couldn't believe that they were telling us this is the end of the road. Uh, and so I think then it was starting to sink in um, all these years later, you know, we may never have our own kids to raise. 
yeah, that was definitely a sobering reality that time when she, she got so sick and I, I just, I was so scared of what these things could do to her. And so we listened to the doctor and we, we stopped. And um, I think we were just sad about it for a long time. I think we were just sad. And for me, I felt bad that I couldn't give my husband children. And I think I felt bad for him that that might not be something for, for our future. And uh, just realizing after this last failed attempt to get pregnant that, okay, maybe this is not God's, God's plan for us. And so in our bathroom, we had a picture and um, it said, for this child, we prayed. And so we just, we would have that as a reminder and we would still pray if God wanted us to have kids. But at the same time, I think we could also be in a place of acceptance of God's plan and his will for our life. So it's been a long journey uh, from being told that you'll never be able to have kids naturally uh, to trying different ways of conceiving and that failing, ultimately those being unsuccessful and leading to my wife getting very sick uh, through a lot of that and just having to deal with the it's the sadness I feel seeing her in so much pain and um, to ultimately accepting that we need to stop and accept this is not going to happen through natural or uh, artificial means and then dealing with the acceptance of, of that and finally coming to a place where you feel content and you feel like okay this is what God has for us So around Christmas time, I was feeling ill, which wasn't abnormal, and I just was really praying, you know, God is, should I take a pregnancy test? I'm like, oh, it'll just be a waste of money and time. We've already been there, done that. And so I woke up on a Monday morning, and I just was really praying, and I said, God, if, if you want me to take one, I'm totally fine if it's negative. And I just really, I stayed in bed for about 30 minutes until I had a peace. And I felt like the Lord was saying, go ahead. And so I went and took the test and it said pregnant right away. And my first thought was, oh, this is broken. Like that's <laughs> really mean. I can't believe we got a broken pregnancy test. So I laid it down and I like stared at it for like eight minutes. And I was like, it still says pregnant. That is so weird. Oh. And then I just started shaking and crying and I can't even explain the feeling. And I just started thanking God. So I opened the door and Kyle's like, what's wrong? And I whispered, I'm pregnant. And Kyle came over to me and hugged me and just, we both started praying and praising God and it was just such a beautiful moment that was unexpected but yet we felt so much of God's peace and presence there. So with no medical anything after being told by multiple doctors that uh, this wasn't going to happen for us, we can happily report we're, we're pregnant! pregnant. We have been so excited to tell our family and just to have them rejoice with us. And we're so excited to tell you, our church family, together. And when we talked about doing this video, we did not know that this would be the outcome. Mm -hmm. But we are pregnant and we have heard, we've seen the baby and has a healthy heartbeat. And our due date is September 2nd of 2016. So God has done this amazing uh, miracle in our lives. And um, man, I just continue to pray that City Church is a place where miracles happen, not just in our lives, but also in yours. And um, I believe with all my heart that God is as alive today as ever. And the Lord made 2016 and the end of 2015 a year where he chose to do a miracle in the pastor and the pastor's wife's life. And I, I truly feel like this is a miracle of biblical proportions. 
And, and so I just want to encourage you, whatever it is that you're hoping for, for your life, whether it's a relationship that hasn't happened, you know, maybe it's a marriage that's not quite where you'd want it to be, or, um, you know, maybe you are waiting for kids and, and that whole thing hasn't worked out for you. I just want to encourage you that um, God is still the God of miracles and he's amazing. And in his time, his way, he brings all things to fruition.